Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Benny's Movie Park 1, the original Benny's Movie Park. You may be a bit confused as to why we are here, but it's been a while and I thought let's just revisit this park and see how it holds up, what changed. Because of course since the making of this park we've had a bunch of updates which kind of changed the entire game. I just want to see if it's really that outdated and of course just, you know, look around, have some fun with uh, watching what we built a year ago. If not more, I think it's more by now. So welcome back to Benny's Movie Park 1. I still remember all of this being a money farm. It was incredibly chaotic. It looked awful, but then at the very end, we actually built this parking lot, which I guess it's nice, but uh, looking back at it, I don't think we needed this at all. Could have saved a bunch of space by just not including this, but I guess we did. So, well, there you go. This looks a bit wacky to me right now since we can do so much more cool stuff, but I guess for then it worked. So uh, then here we have these nice movie posters, the ones that I made on my Photoshop channel, of course, just for a nice little Little detail I guess uh, I guess it's fun it's really crazy to think all of this was built without the scaling tool like you can see how that's changed like the entire way of playing this game as you can see a nice uh, bathroom stall the inside of this is pretty basic not gonna lie not a lot going on here and this is completely empty <laughs> oh well let's uh, move into the uh, park my name is not allowed i guess and there he is my og avatar pretty crazy dude i remember building all this it was also new to me still very strange going back to this it's also simplistic as well like it's detailed but it's also kind of simple because it's all you know the same sizes you can't change the size here so it's all custom yet not really custom at this point in time let's do this in the same order as i built it so first of course this little square but uh, the first actual area we built is of course Ben Jurassic Park, which uh, let's let's just go there right now. First, however, this is a uh, little restaurant. Pretty boring, actually, looking at it like this. But I guess back then I just didn't really care enough about that. What's this? Oh yeah, the pterodactyl launch thing. Like up here, I made this uh, pterodactyl, which turned out quite interesting but i guess for then it was fine uh we didn't have a lot of options of course so this is just really what i had to work with the head is a bit wonky though i'm not actually going in there because well we all know how boring that is here a little binocular so you can uh, look at the mountain i guess if you want to well let's move our way into ben Jurassic park there you go oh this is so Cool. And of course, this dino avatar was like a big thing back then. <laughs> I think I wore that for a long time. The dino diner, of course, very uh, crowded with <laughs> dinosaurs. This bit right here actually turned out pretty sick. And then of course, the dinosaur that kind of uh, walked all the way here to that little thing. Nice detail, actually tells a story as well. And the fence in general, I'm a pretty big fan of. I mean, it looks nice still, even for now. Not gonna lie, I think this is one of the better attempts at uh, a dinosaur especially considering i didn't have the size tool so i think this actually is pretty great not gonna lie <laughs> but now let's just go into uh let's first check this out actually oh yeah with the red flashing lights all the way up these stairs and then here there's the uh, meteorite which is just a uh, one of these a slingshot thing so that's i guess cool and this mountain also looks pretty sick i remember this plane used to be one of my favorite things here i just really like the way it turned out of course this is from jurassic park 3 where the plane crashes into the jungle pretty epic and then this guy also pretty pretty sweet but for now let's head back and enter the dreadful dino drop down i believe here you go yeah the dreadful dino drop down this was the first actual queue i ever made and i think it looks pretty nice the only sad thing is these poles are wooden when they actually should be metal but i guess that's okay also there's trash let's clean the trash what the hell <laughs> um what is happening dude that is the weirdest shit. it doesn't stop doing this up until the very point where you jump anyway moving on this nice uh, misty corridor yeah this looked pretty sick here i was still at the very beginning of my my journey i was still you know finding out how everything worked didn't even really know all the items that were there at this point i think so uh, that's something let's go in here and see what we have this looked actually pretty sick very different are these uh, rock formations i suppose than i do them now but uh Still pretty cool. I was so, so hyped about all this when I first made it, I remember. And going outside with a nice view of the park. It is going pretty damn slow though. That is um, for sure. And then here, finally, we are going out. These light rays are pretty sick. That looks very nice. And then 
Here we go. We. It's rough, but it's not too rough, I suppose. It's it's acceptable. You won't die in this. <laughs> and then here we hang still for. Oh, huh? I thought. Oh, okay. Well, and splash. Very epic. It used to be so that at the top there you just hang for a second or two, but I guess that's gone now. I don't know why. And then the mystical tunnel with a bunch of crystals, I remember. Yes, like gold crystals. Pretty sick. Nice detail there. Just a very calm boat ride at the end. Always seems a nice ending for a pretty, uh, you know, intense ride. And then here you go back into the station again with uh, some nice smoke, of course, as always. Oh, now here you hang still for a bit. That's new. <laughs> I have no idea what happened there, but I guess this is now how it works. And then here is the exit with the, the red blinking lights. Uh, and then here you go up and then that is the dreadful dino drop down. Very cool. And then that is, I guess, the Jurassic Park area. I'm pretty happy with it still. It still looks pretty nice, especially just the layout of the landscape I really like. But uh, you can you can see that here and there it's just a bit outdated. I do like the way these rocks look. I don't know. What, what really I did different back here. It looks a bit more random than it does now. Well, on to the next area, that being Harry Poa. Actually, on the way back, let's first check out this little Pirates of the Caribbean area. We have uh, the nice swinging ship, of course. The Black Pearl, I believe that is. And then on the other side, there's a uh, pizza pirate uh, restaurant up here at the top. Also very nice, I guess. And then on the other side here, you go down again. And that is then um, the, the pirates area. I can see why a bunch of you guys want me to make an actual Pirates of the Caribbean area. Because this is, of course, kind of lame. But uh, this was just kind of an open space I had left. So that's why that happened. I do really love the front here. This looks pretty sick. But that may also be because of the colors and like the palm trees. I love palm trees, as you know. So that may be it as well. But now let's go and check out the Harry Potter area. Um, this is all looking pretty nice. And then here we have popcorn, drinks and burgers. Very convenient. What shall we do first? Let's first go to um, the Nimbus 2000, of course, because that's basically... Uh, the big thing here. Oh, and right here I built Hagrid's hut, which is uh, rough to say the least. This looks a bit strange. I guess now we could have done that way better with a new skill tool and stuff, but uh, we didn't have that, so this is what I built, and it's bad. But uh, who cares? Even made like a have a seat thing where you can test out if you fit. The Nimbus 2000. Let's walk through here. Some nice detailing scenery all the way around this thing. Up the stairs. Probably up some more stairs. And then here we are going to enter Hogwarts. There you go. The Great Hall, of course. We only have two tables here. That's kind of kind of sad. This should have just been one square wider, and I think I could have fit four tables in here, but I guess I didn't. So, uh, very sad. Then here, of course, a bunch of guys that were often present there, and of course, Harry Potter and uh, Voldemort and Hermione and Ron and stuff. That is Frosties. That's Morin. That is Tijman. And that is... I can't remember who that is, so let's uh, move on to the queue. And of course the station right here. The typical Benny station before I knew how to make one. So uh, there you go, I guess. Let's wait for the train to arrive and then uh, let's have a ride. Here we go into the very dark room. Too bad you can see that little bit of light there, but I guess that's fine. And then here we go up into Hogwarts's great tower, big tower thing, whatever it's supposed to be. And then here we go pretty much straight down, if I remember correctly. There you go. Very cool drop. I love that. This one also, it's not very smooth, but it's smooth enough, I guess. It's not like wonky as hell. And then I think that's pretty much it, if I remember correctly. You go back to the station. Pretty nice coaster. It's pretty short, but I guess uh, that's fine because I didn't have much space anyway. Um, yeah. Then here all the way down the stairs and we can go to the second ride, which I never actually finished because back then the file size limit was, uh, oh, that's strange. The file size limit was a big problem. As you can see, this is not even really properly lit. It's pretty dark. Let's, uh, let's do it like this. That was sad, but when I opened it just now, it only said 1.5 MBs, which is very strange because I remember it to be at least 1.95. Five. But I guess something changed. Um, I did finish this, actually. This looks fine. This looks nice. Well, I guess let's have a ride and see what it. I actually really do not remember any of this. I have no idea what I built here. I mean, it wasn't much that I do know, but I guess we'll see. First, we're going up and then under the bridge. Yes, this could have been so nice, actually. It's, it's pretty sad I never finished this. And then here, there's a tiny drop. 
It's so dark. I can barely see anything. And then outside again, it's pretty straightforward. Constantly the same thing actually, just in and out. And then here it's a very romantic boat ride again. Under the wooden coaster, that is a pretty cool thing, I guess. But uh, also pretty freaking dangerous it seems. And then here we go in again with another drop. You can barely see anything, but there was a drop there. <laughs> and for the rest, I think it is pretty much completely dark. So, um, well, very interesting. There you go, that's it. Pretty boring, kind of lame, I never finished it, but I guess back then I couldn't. I don't know what changed, like I actually don't get it, but uh, well, I guess it is what it is. I think other than those two things, there isn't much here. I mean, there's uh, there are some nice details, like for example, this greenhouse and the Whomping Willow, but uh, apart from those, that is pretty much it for the Harry Potter area. It does look very cool, but apart from the looks, there is not much there, I suppose. Then let us move on to the Star Wars area. To be exact, the Tatooine area. This coaster, I think, is my favorite, mainly because of the uh, the beginning. It looked very cool. It's one of my favorite things I ever built, I think. And here there's a nice drop tower thingy. Pretty cool. Nice usage of these buildings, because those were actually present in the movies. And this, I think, is the Mos Eisley Cantina. Yes, it is. Also so looking pretty cool. I'm so curious actually what this would look like if I made it today with the new updates and stuff. This could look so sick actually. But of course I'm not currently working on a Star Wars area so very sad. And here we've got the frisbee cart also very cool. Is there anything up here? Oh, the carousel, of course, also cool. That actually doesn't really fit the theme. I don't know why I put that there, but uh, well. Now let's ride the coaster of the park, the highest one, I think, pretty sure. I mean, it, it look at that. Let's go in here and, uh, and check it out. This queue line is actually so freaking long. I mean, I feel like this is just a bit too long. Like in real life, this would have been fine for this park. This seems a bit excessive, but uh, oh well. Also pretty boring, kind of uh, bare walls, I uh, I think. And then here, the station. The station does look very sick. This looks very detailed. Also, this uh, giant R2 unit, like it is even bigger than me. That is uh, big, but back then, again, I didn't have the scaling tool, so it's fine. Well, let's wait for the train and uh, see what happens. Here we go. If you want to see these with like nice audio and music, you can check out the video in which I made dedicated, you know, edits of these rides. So uh, that's in the description down below. That TIE Fighter looks so sick. But again, I feel like I could make it so much nicer now. But uh, that's just the time. The time is different. So uh, and then, oh, this is my favorite part. So cool. So cool that is. It's a pretty cool coaster. It's sim very similar to King Daka and, uh, but most of all, what's uh, like Red Force, Red Force in uh, Port Aventura, which I have actually been on. It's insanely forceful, but uh, yeah, this is pretty much based on that, the beginning at least. Pretty sick detailing. The tunnels especially are pretty cool, I think. Yeah, this is uh, definitely my favorite coaster here. Uh, Diamond actually helped me with this. He built the second part and uh, I love it. So thank you very much, Teachman. And then on the side here, you go out over the track all the way back to the entrance. Yes, very nice. Is this everything that's here? I feel like I made much more. I mean, there are some very cool details like the Sarlacc pit right here. Um, that looks pretty cool. And then also uh, Teachman being completely obliterated. Also a very nice detail. I love that. <laughs> and I think this tunnel was also cool. I never actually built the Rancor that should be in here, but uh, I guess I just didn't really know where. It's pretty big and it would not fit in here whatsoever. So I guess that's why. I did add the roar he has in the final video, but uh, yeah, so that's why that never happened. And then this hangar bay thing where the Millennium Falcon, of course, was is uh, part of the coaster, so that's also fun. Pretty sad you don't really see this in the coaster itself, so I need to show you like this, otherwise you would have completely missed it. Now let's see what is next. In here, by the way, there's uh, restrooms. Pretty lame, pretty boring, but I guess we need those, of course. And then here, this is teacups, the old teacups. I believe we have a new one. Is there a new one? I think there's a new one. Oh no, it's still the same one. Never mind. And then here, of course, the merch shop. This was nice. We actually had so many hoodies. You can still get these, actually. So if you want one, uh, an OG movie park hoodie, make sure to click the link down below and get your own, because then you're absolutely epic. Now, let's see. Uh, let's move on to the Indiana Jones area. The Indiana Jones area isn't very accessible. That's the one really bad thing about it. This is the only way in. Oh, and of course this. Never mind. I completely forgot about that. Okay, anyway. Um, 
nice boat right there and this is my favorite area like not the favorite ride but the favorite area because it's it just looks so nice i love these buildings in the back here i love the vibe i love palm trees so that's probably also why and there are also just a few really cool details these guys used to have shirts on but i guess uh those are not available anymore why is this but uh this truck looks pretty sick still like the way that looks even now definitely it looks way better than the truck we built in uh, benny's gold rush that is for sure this is a restaurant with a bunch of food stalls i never really made a proper looking restaurant i always just stuck to the food stalls i guess for then it was fine right now i don't think i would ever do that again but uh, then again, this park is actually accessible for NPCs. So that's something I don't really do anymore either. So I guess it, it does have something going for it nowadays. Let's see what we have here. These buildings, I just love the way these look. Even though they're not really detailed for today's standards, I still just love the way these look. We're going in there in just a sec. First, I want to ride the uh, Raiders of the Lost Carts roller coaster. The wooden coaster, of course. I like that this one actually goes pretty fast on the way up. That's nice. That uh, don't see that often in this park. Into the temple. And then after that, you go straight down into uh, a mine, I believe. Yes, there you go. Oh, I love this as well. This is going fast. What the hell? I don't remember this going so fast. I guess this is a very intense coaster after all. And here, a very sharp right. There you go. This is fast as hell. There's no way you, there's no way this is good for your neck. Like, this is insane. Seems a bit unrealistic how fast it goes, but uh, oh well. There you go. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> and then all the way up here. And then here you get some of these nice bumps like the classic wooden coasters have. There you go. And then back here you go into the Temple of Doom, which is what this is based off of. Into the block breaks and a little right turn and then you go back to the station this coaster is so much more rough than i remember i thought this one was very very smooth and clean but it is fast as hell not gonna lie i'm a bit disappointed i thought this one was better well i guess our standards have uh, changed that is in some way a good thing so uh let's move on let's go to the temple what's this called again the temple of the sun or something something like that it's actually an existing structure somewhere in the middle of nowhere uh which i built because in indiana jones it's featured and here we have these very nice statues which cost way too much robux but i guess it was worth it because they look pretty sick some more food stalls because uh why not and some tables also very nice to sit on then here outside, there was one more thing here, I think. Oh yeah, that thing, the swing ride. So basically you just go up here all the way and then you can swing. And then on the other side, you get off. And here, of course, is the giant uh, ball from the beginning of Indiana Jones 1. I don't know how it's staying up here like this because I'm pretty sure gravity would make it demolish the swing ride, but it doesn't. So that's good, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, that seems pretty much it. There is this bridge here, which leads to that uh, cannonball thing. This, uh, what's this called? Rocking disc cannonball but that is pretty much it for the uh, snowy indiana jones area because that is mainly just a coaster so well there is this very rough glacier which is cool but apart from just coaster and trees this is pretty much uh plain i do remember if it's night it actually looks very different didn't i put light in here ah there you go. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, this is supposed to look a lot better. During the night, it does look very different. It's way more, you know, cozy and uh, lit. But I guess then, ladies and gentlemen, that is Benny's Movie Park 1. This is where it all started. This is the beginning of Benji's adventures. Back when I actually just wanted it to be a gaming channel, but then I did this and you guys just didn't want anything else. Uh, so yeah, that's how this happened, I guess. It is pretty cool to see how much this has all changed, how much more we can do now. And just looking back at previously built stuff it's just fun i don't know why there is actually one more park that i built before benny's movie park 2 i did that off screen the first actual park i fully finished and i built that without disabled collisions which means it's going to be very basic but it is a complete full park with a bunch of themes if you would like to see that in a similar video as this uh, make sure to let me know down below in the comments and then i guess for today that is it if you liked this video make very sure to leave a like subscribe hit that bell so you don't miss a single video and then i hope i'll see you in the next episode of building benny's movie park 2